there this is up, up there with the, with the list of dangerous stuff that we've done. So, oh! Imagine if the ambulance crew and they get you. What are you doing? Trailer surfing! So, right, okay, let me grab a torch. The bit I was worried about was there's all the holes for the motorbike wheels. <coughs> right. So, what we got, this super sander here. We are currently swapping this for a bandsaw. Is that a three phase bandsaw, Liam? For a uh, 300mm wide jaws on it, it'll do big cuts, we use it for H-beam at work, so. so this has uh, been sat for a good part of a decade, so I think it's a good swap of my eyes, but the thing is this will be slightly on the heavy side, so we've got all of us that are social distancing of course, um, it's going to stick it, well, I'm going to try and lift it onto the back of the trailer, so we can get it strapped up and obviously taken away, um, I would put the phone down and try and film the struggles, but um, yeah, no, no, there's, there's nothing. So ah, here goes nothing. So that was a bust. We are sat on an empty trailer. Um, yeah, basically it was heavy. We could sort of lift it, but we couldn't safely lift it enough to be able to. Uh, oh, careful the cat, Sam. Yeah. <sighs> That went down there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Couldn't lift it enough, so uh, unfortunately, back to square one. I will need to uh, devise a better solution with some proper lifting gear, really. Um, we don't have any on hand. We've got an engine crane that can only lift one ton at max, which isn't gonna be enough. Um, and having six people, having to get very close, not worth risking legs and bodies getting squashed. So, unfortunately, back to literally the drawing board. Here we go, we take two. Pulling out the big guns, trying to get it onto the trailer. Killing ourselves was not a good option, so making life easy. All loaded up all right. The pallet we picked wasn't quite high enough. It's not the end of the world. It sits in the box section. Sam is just strapping it. Um, obviously, there's, uh, well, as you do with string strapping things. I've got some cable ties to basically secure the uh, the big, big three-phase cable that's coming out and around. That's, uh, you know, don't want that flinging off. There is a junction box that is tucked away inside. And obviously that's gonna have not good effects on this. Yeah, it's not thin cable. So we're about to uh, get this all sorted, pump the tyres up in the trailer and just going to head off and get to pick up the bandsaw. Finally, after a long time of looking and waiting, the day is finally here. The bandsaw is now, well, the uh, belt sander is all dropped off and the bandsaw is picked up. It is a Thomas Saw 220 three-phase. The jaw cut's nearly 300 mil. We've got a couple of spare blades. It's a bit of a clean like, but we'll smash it with a pressure washer, give it a quick clean, and then figure out exactly where we're going to put it. I think that's the uh, the next thing on the list. But about to get it strapped and uh, be back on our way. Final stretch of the journey. It's uh, going to its, well, I won't say final resting home, it's where we decided the easiest way to get in and out, or we're probably going to put it here. So we've got big material, we can open the doors and sort of had the feed either, either way, I can go straight into the unit or straight out here. I probably should be giving these two a hand because it's not the lightest thing in the world and it's awkward. So I'll put my uh, camera down, but just in case at the moment, if they fail, that'll be quite funny to have a video, but. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'll walk around and uh, get back when it's uh, done. We're in. Uh, a little bit of an uh, awkward effort, nothing a bit of leverage, two guys pulling and one guy pushing, couldn't solve. We are going to take it back out again at some point because, as I mentioned, does need a bit of a clean. But for now, it's in, we'll flip it round and we'll just worry about that another time. We can get the uh, the JCB to put the hand underneath it and yank it back out if need to in the future. So, uh, finally got it, can start to... Uh, I wanted to walk out getting a three phase feed into here. There is one just this other side of the wall here for, well, where the compressor is. So I'm going to extend it across and have that. Uh, we need to uh, 
What else do you say we need to do? We need to get some uh, coolant. coolant. Yeah, coolant. It's because the, the insert's been sat outside, so it's gone rusty, so proper coolant just stops the bed rusting. Then the material rusting once you cut it. So yep. it keeps the blade lubricated as well. After we give it a good clean of the grease, maybe worth getting one of the girls on it with a uh, tin of hammerite that's kicking over. Give it a spruce up, make it look better than it is. But how old did you say? Oh, well, you think it is roughly. Or how long has it been operation, in operation? We, we, um, my boss reckons that we bought it in the 1980s. Uh, so it's, it's been there a bloody long time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Definitely a good bit of kit for us. So anything from box, pipe, tube, whatever, we can now cut sort of safely and reliably without having to, well, say reliably, I mean making clean bang on cuts every time because that, Little bad so we had to rely on before. Definitely not fun. So I hope you've enjoyed our little tales of picking this up. And hopefully you'll see it in future videos of actually putting it to some use.